students. Hello students, this is Professor Laura. Today we're doing abilities. This is Unit 8. This is English 1. Once again, this is English 1, Unit 8. And we're going to do pages 60 to 64 right now. Ability. Ability. Ability is something that you can do, that you are good at. I can play volleyball. I can't play volleyball. So you're going to write sentences about your abilities saying I can or I can't using the pictures. Okay. Listen and repeat. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Ride a bicycle. Ride a bicycle. Paint pictures. Paint pictures. Play an instrument. Play an instrument. Is an instrument is something that you play to make a sound. You make music with it, like guitar or piano. Those are instruments. I uh, drive a car. Drive a car. You drive a car. Okay. If you're in the car, you ride a car. If you are the one making the car move, you are a driver. You drive the car. Now we have computers that will drive a car. And right now we're talking about people. Okay. Snowboard. Snowboard. That's a one board instead of two boards like a ski. There's only one board. It's really, really fun, but very dangerous. It's a good idea to take training if that's what you're going to do. Okay, so number one, number one, I can or I can't play the guitar. Top middle, I can or I can't play pictures, sorry, uh, paint pictures. <laughs> you paint pictures, okay? I can or cannot paint pictures. Okay, next one is I can or I can't snowboard. I can or I can't snowboard. Or I can't. I'm terrible at it. Okay. I last one is bottom left is you're looking at a volleyball. I play volleyball. I can play volleyball or I can't play volleyball. And if I'm answer, um, if it's me, yes, I can play volleyball. I can play volleyball. Uh, next one is drive. I can drive a car. I can drive a car, or I can't drive a car. I can't drive a car. Okay, last one is ride. And for a bicycle, you ride a bicycle. You ride a bicycle. Okay, I can ride a bicycle. I can't ride a boat. Ride a bicycle. And different people are going to have different answers to that question. Okay. Advice. Advice. It's a thing you tell someone to do or to solve a problem. Help. Help. Someone needs assistance. They need you to, you to do something because they can't do it themselves or something's wrong. Fix. Fix. That's to make something broken work again. It's broken, so you, you need to do something to fix it. The picture, they're fixing pipes they're, they're with, the, with the wrench. To tune, to tune, that's to make notes play or something work correctly. You're, you tune an instrument like you tune a guitar, you tune a piano. After a while, um, that they go out of tune, so you have to tune them to make them work correctly. All right. Find. Find. You get something that was missing or you locate something. Instrument. Instrument. This is something that makes music. The instrument in the picture is a piano. Juggle. Juggle. That's to make things move really fast with your hands. That is a very special, juggling is a very special skill. 
chopsticks. Chopsticks. Most of you use them every day. Okay, before we go any farther along, let's look at our abilities to be sure you have the sentences correct. You can say can or can't. Okay, your abilities, the first box is I can or can't play an instrument. I can or can't paint pictures. I can or can't snowboard. I can or can't play volleyball. I can or can't drive a car. I can or can't ride a bicycle. Okay. Got to do our dialogue for page 60. Listen to the dialogue. John and Alex are talking about an instrument, an old guitar that John has at home. He needs to tune it, which means it's not playing correctly, and if he tunes it, it will play the correct notes. And what they're going to talk about is his finding an electronic tuner. An electronic tuner helps him make the correct, the strings on the guitar play the correct notes. Okay, listen. Just listen first. I need some advice. Can you help? Sure. What can I do? I have an old guitar at home. It needs tuning. How can I fix it? That's easy. Get an electronic, sorry, get an electric tuner. Where can I find one? You can buy one at any instrument shop. I need some advice. Can you help? Sure. What can I do? I have an old guitar at home. It needs tuning. How can I fix it? That's easy. Get an electric tuner. Where can I find one? You can buy one at any instrument shop. Okay, now we're going to listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. I need some advice. Can you help? Sure. What can I do? I have an old guitar at home. It needs tuning. How can I fix it? That's easy. Get an electric tuner. Where can I find one? You can buy one at any instrument shop. Okay. One more time. Listen and repeat. I need some advice. Can you help? Sure. What can I do? I have an old guitar at home. It needs tuning. How do I fix it? Sorry, how can I fix it? That's easy. Get an electric tuner. Where can I find one? You can buy one at any instrument shop. Meaning chunk. Subject, can, verb or wh, can, sub, uh, subject plus verb. Okay. You can buy one. Can you help me? What can I do? How can I fix it? Okay, so your WH questions. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Those are your WH questions. Let's take a look at this. Okay, who can I ask? Listen and repeat. Who can I ask? What can he ask? When can she play? 
Where can it start? How can we visit? How can you eat? Where can you eat? Where can you visit? So practice doing a couple of those sentences. They will have, those questions are probably going to be on the test. So you're going to have to know some answers to those. Okay. Okay, so what can I ask? I can ask a question. What can she play? She can play a game. When can, so say, what can we start? We can start a club. A club is a group of people that meet together because they have a common interest, like gaming or playing in a band. Okay. When can we visit? We can't visit my friend. What can you eat? We can eat sushi. Okay, so those are some things that you can do. Now, your, your, they're very simple questions and answers is, yes, I can. Yes, he, she, or it can. And, or no, we, you, or they can't. So yes, he can. No, he can't. Yes, she can. No, you can't. No, they can't. Okay, so know how to you how to speak your questions and your answers. This is very important for your test, for your writing test, and for your speaking test. You may have some of these questions on your speaking test. Okay, now we're going to look at some people. We've got Jeff, Ming, Samantha, and Angelo. We're going to ask questions about their abilities. An ability is something that you can do. An ability is something that you can do. Everyone has a different ability. One person can play video games. Another person can play something else. Okay, so we're going to look at these things. Cook, the person can do it. Dance, the person can't do it. Whoops, went too far. There we go. And the X means they can't do it. Can't play baseball, can play volleyball. Uh, can use chopsticks, can't ride a bike. All right, uh, can swim, can't juggle. Okay, so listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Jeff can cook. Can Jeff cook? Yes, he can. Can Jeff dance? No, he can't. All right, let's look at me. Listen and repeat. Can Ming play baseball? No, she can't. Can Ming play volleyball? Yes, she can. Can Samantha ride a bike? No, she can't. Can Samantha use chopsticks? Yes. She can. Can Angelo swim? Yes, he can. Can Angelo juggle? No, he can't. The important thing to understand here is that these are skills or abilities. These are 
things that you've learned to do. Everyone learns to do some things and does not learn to do other things. So people are going to have very different answers. Okay, one more time. Listen and repeat. Can Ellen swim? Yes, she can. Can Jeff cook? Yes, he can. Can Jeff dance? No, he can't. Can Ming play baseball? No, she can't. Can Ming play volleyball? Yes, she can. Can Samantha ride a bike? Yes, she can. Sorry, <laughs> no, she can't. Can Samantha use chopsticks? Yes, she can. Can Angelo swim? Yes, he can. Can Angelo juggle? No, he can't. Vocabulary, page 61. Male. Male. Actually, it's page 62. That means you send something to someone else. Post office. Post office. That's a place to send your mail. Okay. Dialogue structure. Where can I do something? Where can I mail a letter? Where can I watch a movie? Where can I read a book? Now, usually do something in somewhere or at somewhere. You can read a book at in the library. You can watch a movie at the cinema. That's your sentence structure. You need to know this sentence structure for your test. Where can I? You can do something in or at the place. Listen and repeat. Where can I mail a letter? You can mail a letter at the post office. Where can I read a book? You can read a book in the library. Where can I go for a walk? You can go for a walk in the park. Where can I play tennis? You can play tennis at the tennis court. Tennis court or badminton court. Court is where you play an outside game or inside game that uses a ball or a uh, shuttlecock. So like tennis, squash, uh, badminton, those games are played on courts. They have a net in the middle. Volleyball is also played on a court. Okay. Once again, where can I play tennis? You can play tennis at the tennis court. Where can I sleep? You can sleep in a tent. Where can I buy ice cream? You can buy an ice cream at the supermarket. Where can I eat dinner? You can eat dinner in the cafeteria. Where can I play billiards? You can play billiards at a pool hall. Okay, go ahead and practice those. Be sure you understand the vocabulary. Use Papago or any other dictionary to understand the words. Vocabulary, page 62. Hot. Hot. That means that the heat is too high. Open. Open. You can open a book. You can open a window. You can open many things. Turn on. Turn on. It means you turn on the power. You hit the power button. All right. Fix. Fix. It means something is broken and you've got to do some work in order to make it work again. Lift. 
lift. If you look at the picture, there is a woman lifting a weight. Lifting is moving something, putting stuff in your hand and moving it up. Let's lift. Call. Call. You generally call someone on a telephone or a, or a cell phone. Heavy. Heavy. That means it weighs a lot. Things that are over four kilograms are usually, or five kilograms, are usually pretty heavy for most people. Heavy. Late. Late. This means you did not get there on time. And you are late. Cold. Cold. Something that's cold, it's snowy. It's uh, the temperature is too low. Bored. Bored. Bored means that you don't enjoy doing what you're doing and you want to do something else. So you don't know what to do. You're bored. Hungry. Hungry, that means you want to eat some food. These baby birds are usually very hungry. Broken. Broken. Broken means you're going to have to fix it. In this case, the window or is broken or the, um, or the glass door is broken. Something is broken here in this picture. Speaking three requests means you're asking someone to do something. You say, can you... Or can you please for a request? That's a request. All right, I'm hot. Can you open the window? Now you can say, sure. Of course. No problem. And those are your three answers to the, that particular question. Okay, so now we're going to go over some of these. Now you're going to match the purple box with the blue box, okay? It's heavy. It's heavy. Can you lift it? Can you lift it? I'm late. I'm late. Can you call a taxi? Can you call a taxi? It's cold. It's cold. Can you turn on the heat? Can you turn on the heat? I'm bored. I'm bored. Can you turn on the TV? Can you turn on the TV? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Can you cook something for me? Can you cook something for me? Um, be sure you don't, be sure this is your mother or a very close friend. Normally you wouldn't ask someone to cook for you. Maybe you have a friend who is a chef and then you might ask. Or if you're visiting, you have to be very careful. That could be a very rude question. Okay, next one. It's broken. It's broken. Can you fix it? Can you fix it? All right. So those are your things. So it's heavy. Can you lift it? I'm late. Can you call a taxi? It's cold. Can you turn on the heat? I'm bored. Can you turn on the TV? I'm hungry. Can you cook something for me? It's broken. Can you fix it? Okay. So today we covered a few pages. We went uh, pages 60, 61, and 62. For our next one, we're going to cover pages 63 through the rest of the lessons there. For studying, Study the part that, that asks questions. Can you? Be sure you can ask a question like that. Know your vocabulary. If there's something you don't understand, look it up in Papago or any online dictionary. Know how to say where can you and where the things are. Be sure you know the vocabulary on this page.
Be sure you know the dialogue structure here. Be sure you can talk about what you and someone else can or cannot do. The last thing you need to do is look at this part, which is your grammar focus. Be sure you can ask the questions and be sure that you can answer the questions. So what can I ask? I can ask a question. What can she play? She can play a game. Uh, what can we start? We can start a club. Okay. Who can we visit? We can visit my friend. What can they eat? They can eat sushi or they can't eat sushi. Remember your very, very simple answers. Yes, I can, he can, she can, or it can. And no, uh, we can't, you can't, they can't, I can't, you can't. On your, on your speaking test or your writing test, you can give very simple answers like yes, I can, no, I can't. Okay? You don't have to give long answers. And you can uh, make them a little bit shorter. Okay, so remember uh, you can say what you can do because that may be on your speaking test or that may be on your writing test of, of you know, can, can you swim? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay. Can you ride a bike? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Be sure you understand all of the vocabulary on this page because if you're asked this question, you have to be able to answer it. You have to be able to answer it, okay? And again, remember your dialogue structure. Where can I do whatever it is you're going to do? You can do something at the something. So be sure you understand all of this vocabulary here. Watch a movie and where you watch it at the cinema. You can read a book in the library. You can go for a walk in the park. You can buy an ice cream at the supermarket. You can sleep in a tent. You can play tennis at the tennis court. You can eat dinner in the cafeteria. The cafeteria is a place where there's a choice of food out there and you can choose what you want. Okay, you can, uh, where can I play billiards or pool? You can play Billiards at a pool hall. Pool and billiards are pretty much the same game in English. Okay, great job. When we come back, we're going to work on uh, our next page, which is our self-practice. But we're going to stop here. Have a wonderful day.